the intrinsic value plus the field value divided by 2 we get the fair value of the share how do we find the intrinsic value the net assets available to equity shareholders divided by number of equity shares we have to calculate the ERR calculation of expected rate of return equals ERR equals average profit into 100 divided by total paid up equity capital hello everyone I'm Purnima faculty in the Department of Commerce and Management Vidyashram First Rate College Temple of Excellence Mysuru I welcome you all to this session in the session 3 of unit 4, we will be working out some more problems on valuation of shares. Now, the problem is the balance sheet of Best Limited as on 31st December 2008 was as follows. The share capital, 40,000 shares of rupees 10 each, 4 lakhs. Profit and loss account, 35,000. Reserve, 1 lakh. 9% debentures, 1 lakh. Current liabilities, 1 lakh, 30,000. Total is 7,65,000. On the asset side, we have goodwill, 1 lakh. Fixed assets, 4,50. Current assets, 1,90. Preliminary expenses, 25,000. So, total is 7,65,000. For the purpose of valuation of shares, fixed assets were valued at rupees 5 lakhs and goodwill at rupees 1,50,000. There is a necessity of 10% on Sunday debtors of rupees 75,000. It was found that the stock was overvalued by rupees 9,000. The net profit for the three years were 69,000, 71,800, and 90,200, respectively, after taxation. Out of this profit, 20% was placed to reserve, the proportion being considered reasonable in the industry in which the company is engaged where the normal rate of return is 10%. So compute the value of equity share by net asset method, yield method, also calculate the fair value of the share. Now we have a problem here. So in this problem if we can see here, they have given us the various liabilities and also the various assets. Now. They have asked us to find the value based on the net asset method. So net asset method means, so we have to find out the value of the net assets. So how do we find the value of the net asset? Total assets minus liabilities, so whatever is remaining, that will be the net asset. So that divided by the number of shares, we get the um, value of shares as per the intrinsic value or the net asset value. Then next one is the yield method. So what do we mean by yield? Yield re represents the profits of the company. So they have given us the three years profits with some adjustments. So when we have these adjustments, so after the adjustments that is we have to consider the profits after deducting the reserve and then we get the profit of the company and based on that profit we have to calculate the ERR that is the expected rate of return. Then the difference the we have to add both that is the intrinsic value and the yield value. So the intrinsic value plus the yield value divided by 2 we get the fair value of the share. Now first thing is we have to find the net asset value. So first one is calculation of net asset value. So I take into consideration what are the assets. For the purpose of valuation of shares, the fixed assets were valued at 5 lakhs with the goodwill at 1 lakh 50,000. So I write fixed assets. Five lakhs. Then goodwill one lakh fifty thousand. Then next one. There is a necessity of RBD at ten percent on 
sundry debtors of 75,000. So there is an as so in the included in the current asset we have the debtors. So I have to deduct from the current assets 7,500. So here in this problem we have to find the net asset value. So in order to find the net asset value I have taken the revalued amount of the fixed assets that is 5 lakhs then goodwill is 1,50,000. Now in the current assets they have given us two adjustments. Now what are the adjustments here? So we have to take an RBD of 10% on sundry debtors that is sundry debtors value 75,000. So 75,000 into 10%. So that will be 7,500 and also that stock was overvalued by rupees 9,000. So we have to make these two adjustments. So I am taking from the current asset value, I am deducting 7,500 as RBD and 9,000 of overvaluation of stock. When I deduct these two, I get the value as 1,73,500. So I add all this, I get 83,23,500. Now in the liabilities, we have the debentures 1 lakh, current liabilities 1,30,000. So from this, I am deducting the liability value 2,30,000. I get the net asset available to equity shareholders as 5,93,500. Now I have the net asset value available for equity shareholders. The next method, next value is to find the intrinsic value. So how do we find the intrinsic value? The net assets available to equity shareholders divided by number of equity shares. So the net asset value available is 5,93,500 divided by the number of equity shares. Now what is the given number? 40,000. So the value is 14.8375. So the value of equity shares as per the intrinsic value method is 14.8375. Now the next method of calculation of valuation of goodwill is the yield method. Now for the yield method we need to find out the average profit. So what is the average profit for the past three years? Rupees 69,000, 71,800 and 90,200. So I add all this. Average profits equals 69,000 plus 71,800. 71,800 plus 90,200 90,200 divided by 3. Now in this yield method, I am adding all the profits given. 69,000 plus 71,800 plus 90,200. The total comes up to 77. Uh, when I divide all this by 3, I get 77,000. From this, I have to deduct 20% as transferred to reserve. So 20% of 77,000 is 15,400. So when I deduct, I get the profit available for equity shareholders as 61,600. Now we have to calculate the ERR. Calculation of expected rate of return equals ERR equals average profit into 100 divided by total paid up equity capital. Now we got the average profit as 61,600. So 61,600 divided by 4 lakhs into 100, I get 15.4%. Now the value per share equals ERR by NRR into paid up value of the share. So the value per share is, what is the ERR? 15.4, NRR is 10, paid up value is 10. So when I simplify this, I get the value per share as 15.4 rupees. Now calculation of fair value. So fair value equals intrinsic value plus yield value divided by 2. So what is the intrinsic value per share? So when we calculated in the previous slide, we had 14.8375. So 14.83 plus 
the yield value is 15.4 divided by 2. Now 14.83 plus 15.4 that will be equal to this is equal to 30.23 divided by 2 this will be equal to so the fair value equals 15.11 so calculation of fair value is intrinsic value plus yield value divided by 2 so intrinsic value is 14.83 plus 15.4 divided by 2 so the fair value is 30.23 divided by 2 that is equal to 15.11 so we got the all the values that is the intrinsic value is 14.83 yield value is 15.4 and the fair value is 15.11. Now the next problem, the balance sheet of Sindur Limited as on 31st December 2014 was as follows. The share capital 30,000 shares of rupees 10 each, 3 lakhs, profit and loss account 1,20,000, reserve 1,60,000, Creditors 1 lakh, income tax liabilities 20,000. So the total of the liability side is 8 lakhs. On the asset side, we get 1 lakh 70,000 as the fixed asset, 3 lakh 10,000 as stock, debtors 3, 2 lakh 3,000, bank balance 1 lakh 17,000, total of 8 lakhs. Now, the additional information the profit of the company for the 3 years are 69,000, 91,500, and 98,000. The company transfers 20% of the profits after taxation to reserve every year. The normal rate of return in similar companies yield 15%. So they have given us the NRR as 15% and the fixed assets were valued at 3 lakhs and there is a necessity to provide RBD at 10%. Compute the value of each share under the net asset method and the yield method. So, we have to calculate the value of the share based on the net asset method. So, the first thing is calculation of net asset value. So, I will make a list of all the assets. So, what are the various assets? So, the fixed assets is 1,70,000 stock, debtors and bank. So, I just take the fixed assets is valued at 3 lakhs they have told. So, I have to take it as 3 lakhs. The fixed assets equals 3 lakhs. Then, next one. There is a necessity to provide RBD 10%. Okay. Next, we have stock 3 lakh 10,000. Stock 3 lakhs 10,000. Sundry debtors. What is the sundry debtors value? 2 lakh 3,000. So, 2 lakhs. 3000 minus 20300 that is 20% of 23000 so i get the answer then next one will be bank balance bank 117000 so when we find the sundry debtors in this problem, the calculation of net asset value, fixed assets 3 lakh, stock 3 lakh 10,000, sundry debtors, I have deducted 10% of RBD that is 20,300, so I get 1 lakh 82,700, bank balance is 1 lakh 17,000, when I add all this I get 9 lakh 9,700, then creditors value 1 lakh, tax liability 1 lakh 20, so I deduct, we get 6,89,700. Now to find out the intrinsic value. Intrinsic value equals net assets available 
divided by number of equity shares. So, intrinsic value will be 6,89,700 divided by number of equity shares. So, the number of equity shares is 30,000 here. So, the number of equity shares is 30,000. So, the intrinsic value equals 22.99 so we can round it off to 23. Now the next method is the yield method. In the yield method, total profits divided by number of years equals Average profits. So the profits of the company for the past three years are 69,000, 91,598,000. So this is equal to 69,000 plus 91,500 plus 98,000 divided by 3. Now when I have to find the average profit, I add all the uh, 3 years profit given that is 69,000, 91,500 plus 98,000 divided by 3. I get the average profit as 86,167 minus the reserve that is 17,000 through 200. So 86,167 into 20%. So when I do that, I get 17,233. And then when I deduct this, I get the profit as 68,934. So this is the profits available for equity shareholders. Profits for equity shareholders. Now, the next step is I have to find the ERR. Now for the calculation of ERR, we have the Profits available for equity shareholders divided by total paid up equity capital into 100. So that is 68,934 divided by 3 lakhs into 100. I get the answer as 22.98%. So the value of ERR is 22.98%. Now I have to calculate the value per share. Value per share equals ERR by NRR into paid up value of the share. So this will be equal to 22.98 divided by the NRR is 15%. So it is given as 15%. So this 15 into paid up value of the share is 10 rupees. So when I simplify all this, I get 15.32. So the calculation of ERR, profits available by total paid up equity capital into 100. So I get 22.98 as the ERR. The value per share is ERR by NRR into paid up value. So 22.98 divided by 15 into 10. I get the answer as 15.32. With this, we come to the end of this session. Hope you have all followed it. Thank you.